Hi, I'm Marilyn with Hansi Creations. Thanks so much for joining me. I am going to show you how to use the guide that comes with the Big Dream Panel stencils. First of all, you should have your two stencils. The guide for the placement and the order is with it. And of course your pounce pad. And it's helpful to have a pencil if you have one. If not, you're, you're fine, but it is kind of nice to have if you need that. Um, that's everything, an iron and an ironing board. So let's get going. All right, we're ready to begin marking the panel and we're gonna follow this guide. It has the letters that are um, associated with the different pieces and then it has a numerical order that you put them on. So we're gonna start with number one, which is this petal right here. And we're going to start with A, which is this stencil. And you just fit it over the petal, like so. You don't always fit exact, and that's all right. And just pounce it on. Okay, so you can see where it's overlapping this petal, which is going to be in front. And that's where you're going to need your iron, and you just erase that part right there. And then we'll go on to back to the guide, look at number two. Right there's number two, which is this petal. So take your A stencil again, and I just peek under it to see that there's a balance between this margin and this margin on the petal itself. And then you transfer the stencil. And you take your iron once again and just erase the chalk that is on the petal that is overlapping it. All right, then check out your guide again. We are going to go to number three, which is also A. I'm going to move this over so you can see. And once again, fit that in there nice and equally balanced and transfer it. Okay, take your iron again and erase the petals that are in front. Okay, Wait a minute. that's the edge right there. So you go all the way up to that line. Now, back to your guide. We are on number four, right next to number three. I'm going to pull this over as you can see. And number three is this one. Again, or it's number four. Again, it is the A. So you want to not, not flip your stencil over. This is the A side. And just put that in there. Transfer it. I don't think I need the whole thing. Yeah. Just that top part. And once again, take your iron and erase anything below it. Okay. Back to the guide. And we are on number five, which is this one pedal right here. Move this over again so you can see. And 
and double check. There's four, this is five. And it's the same A stencil, so line that up, center it on that pedal, transfer it. Okay, take your iron, erase away from the petals that are overlapping in front. And back to the guide, and we have number six is next, which is this petal right here. And it is, this is a little different, it is AR. So we've been doing A, which is this one, just like this. AR is just the reverse. Flip it over and line it up where you can see it. And transfer that. Always double check, make sure your lines are nice and visible before you move your stencil. Okay, erase the overlap. Now, number seven is next, which looks like this one down here. And it too is A. So now I'm gonna flip this back over to the A side and put it in this petal right here. Like so. I'm not sure if I need a hole. Yeah, looks good. Okay. And erase again the overlapping petal lines. All right, so that was seven. Now we're on eight, which is in front of seven. It's this one right here, and that is stencil B. So this is the smaller one. We're just gonna fit it onto that petal. Transfer it. We're going to work our way back the other direction now. Let's see. Okay. I want to erase this part because that is another pedal in front. And you just continue to do this. Um, number nine is over here. Okay, so always refer back to your guide to know exactly what you're doing next. Number nine is this one right here, and that again is the B, which is the smaller of these two feathers. So you just position it onto the petal, transfer it. Erase from the petal that's overlapping it. Okay, that was number nine. So number 10 is gonna be this one, and it says it's the BR, so you wanna flip it over. And just make sure you got it in there, like so. And transfer it this way. Now 
white. It's hard to see a little bit on that white. I mean the yellow. Okay, that one I just need to erase a little bit right here. Okay, so then we go to 11, which is this one, and that is the stencil D. So you can refer to your guide and go, okay, this one right here is the D. It's, it's this one. I'm gonna put it right here. And you line that up and transfer it. Make sure you can see it. I could have used a color chalk on this. Might have been a good idea, but then you have to brush it off instead of ironing it off. So the white is a good choice for that reason. All right, there's D, which was number 11. Now I'm back here to number 12. Number 12 is this one. It is A again. And you just fit that in there. Transfer that. overlapping it. Now you might notice this right here. That one goes into this leaf. And this one doesn't come out far enough really to fill in the space. That, I'm going to show you when we're actually sewing this, how you can fix that. Okay, so then that was 12, then we do 13, which is this little guy, and that says it's a DR, so it is the D stencil we used earlier, only it is the reverse, so we flip it over, and you just put, we only, really are only using the tip of it, because that's a small little petal sticking up. There you got that one, erase that. And you just continue to do this. That was number 13. Now we're gonna do 14, which is this one right here. And it says it is D. D is that one again, not the DR. So flip it this way, position it, and transfer it. and clean it off the edges. This one right next to it is number 15 and that is the reverse of the D. It's this petal right here. So you just flip it over and fit it into there like that. Actually, in this case, I flipped it back over. It seems to fit better. Use your own judgment on, on that. If you like one one way better than the other, then switch it back around. So there's that D. And I can't really see the top of it very good, so that is where if you have a pencil, this is the same iron off powder in the pencil form. Help you bring out some of these lines if you needed to. And so that was 15. Now you have 16. That's the middle one. Um, twist it around until you see the way it makes sense. And it should be something like this. 
but there are other possibilities. Could go this way. Just use your own judgment. I'm going to do it like this. All right, this is gonna be a nice center. Just transfer all the circles. And I think you got the idea. Next I would do 17, 18, 19, 20, and you just do exactly what I was doing, put them on, erase anything that's overlapping until you have it completely marked. I'm going to finish this up and then I'll put it on the long arm and we will show you how to sew it. Well, I finished marking the panel. I have it on the rollers right now and I'm going to start the quilting process and I wanted you to watch so you can see some of the anomalies that you're going to run into and how to deal with them. All right. Let's get going. I'm going to start with this big leaf on the far left. And what I like to do, and of course this is just me, I like to go around the leaf and I just follow this line. Nice thing about it is it is a leaf. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just trace around the edge, come to here, and I'm going to go down. This is the other leaf because it's in front. And then I go, oh, I'm going to stop here so I can do the vein. So there's no right or wrong way to do this. You just start following the lines. Don't get too stressed out about it because when it's all done, the whole thing as a whole looks really, really nice. So if you mess up on a couple of these little feathers, it doesn't matter. Keep in mind, I am not an accomplished quilter. I love it, I have fun with it. But I would not win any awards. And now this is the side I wanted to really tell you about. Right here, the chalk comes a little short, so just go with it and pull it out a little bit more. When the chalk is gone, no one will know. I'm actually doing this backwards from what I usually do, so it seems a little weird. Okay, I'm going to pull that out to there, come back in. Now I'm back here. I'm going to get this line. I'm going to go back and trace this outline. By the time I'm done, I have stitched over those outside lines of these leaves, sometimes a lot. Right here, I'm going to go follow this line on the inside. I've been getting better at this. It takes a, it just takes a little practice. And if yours comes out a little wonky, it's okay. It's a living thing. It's a leaf. Okay, so now I'm here. I'm going to go around this leaf. In this case, I'm going to come all the way back by going on my inside line. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Some people actually put little circles inside that line. If you look on Pinterest, you can get all kinds of ideas of how to pull this together in an even bigger way. I'm going to come down here, follow the outline of these leaves. Then I'll go back up. Here I am in the middle. There's my stem. So I'm going to work my way pulling out those feathers just a little bit so they make a little more sense. I 
the reason why they're like that is because we didn't want to make a stencil for every single leaf. So we make one that fits them all fairly well and then you can adapt as you need to. Or you don't even have to, but you can if you want. Oops, kind of messed up on that. I've done these with and without stencils, and believe me, when you have the stencil, there's a, it's a lot easier. Another thing I want to show you, this, this is the basic design. If you want to change it, feel free, like right here. I want to add some veins into this leaf. Then you just go up, retrace those petals, put some lines in them. This is your panel. You can do it however you want. And again, there's lots of ideas on how to do different leaves online. Okay, so now I'm here. See, I'm just going to work my way from petal to petal. If you're going to trace around the outside of the leaf like I did, the, the double line, just be sure you're only doing it on the actual petal that's that you're working on so it makes sense like right here I, I would not retrace that or put a double line there because that's not the edge of that leaf This is just a really, really fun project. I know you guys are going to love it. See this leaf, the pattern fit it pretty nicely. I didn't have to do any um, stretching of the feathers. Most of the time you can find an easy way to get around where you're going. Like here, I need to get over here a little farther, so I'm just going to do that inside line right now. But then I'm going to make my way over to this last leaf on the back row. So. I think you get the, the idea of what I'm doing here. The chalk is, it's all marked as I unroll this. I will just continue to trace the lines. I wanted to mention on the sample when it's done, you're gonna see diagonal lines here because um, we didn't put the feathers on these back petals. I, I did the diagonal lines like it's a burst. And you can either use your ruler if you're on a long arm and just, I just follow the natural lines in the print or you can mark it with a pencil and make it all perfect, um, spaced out like that if you want. Or you can do something else in the background too. It's up to you. The stencils will get you through all of the petals. So I hope you try this out and find it as fun as I do. It's, it's really fun. Thanks for joining me.